on a, you mentioned after Saturday's game about finding ways to finish after Saturday, Sunday scout and preparation this week. Have you guys pinpointed how you guys can finish better, especially on defense? Oh uh, yeah, I'll, I'll probably say really just uh, being uh, paying attention to our job a lot more as far as like the details. Uh, you know, uh, as far as like what happened, uh, you know, it, it was uh, you know some somebody has met, probably messed up a, a, a assignment, and that's usually the problem. You know, so you know just having to lock in the playbook more. That, that's really it. Uh, in terms of the Clemson front, you're going to see this weekend. Uh, what stands out to you about just kind of the way they operate? Obviously, pretty experienced. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, pretty experienced group. Uh, they got they got good old linemen. Uh, you know, uh, pretty good guys. You know, I mean, it's pretty much, uh, you know, we same thing we do every week. Uh, you know, we we feel we feel it, uh, we feel like we're as good as anybody in the country. So like we, we prepare ourselves the same way. How much you've been picking in his brain about playing that he played them last year, so he knows what their calls are at the line of scrimmage, like, like tendencies. How much have you picked his brain? about stuff that you really can't see on the film about how you guys can attack it. Yeah, it's, it's, it's little things in there that uh, little details and, you know, not not, not even just the needs. You know, the film t tells a lot, you know, uh, being able to, to recognize what, what what happens. What goes into a good film session in your eyes? Uh, really, you know, just... So we, I'm, you know, D-line, so it's like we, we really hone in on the O-line. So I'll probably say just more... Uh, what what they do on certain like certain downs or probably you know how they stand certain ways or, or, or what what moves would they do in, in certain situations? Uh, walk us through your block the block of the PAT because it looked like you just jumped through a couple of people. To get <laughs> yeah, so uh, the 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 time they scored before uh, I seen that the guy was kind of uh, kind of uh, shorter. So like you know really it just went in my mind that I, I should probably try it. Because we, we had just been talking about it throughout the week because uh, somebody had blocked it or something like that, so, uh, doing that. So uh, second time came around, uh, I got a feel for it, and really it just happened. You know, uh, he, he got a little lower once he stepped, so I was able to get over uh, and, and block it. How close, how the number of line do you have to thread there? Because you're not allowed to jump over them, but it seemed like you just jumped between them. Yeah, you, yeah, you can't really touch them at all. So if, if you're going over them, you can't touch them at all. So you, you, you got to do it a certain way. So so if you do touch them, it's a flag. You, it wouldn't even count. Uh, did, you guys, did you think Jalen had a chance to take that back for two? Yeah, I definitely thought he had a chance to take it back. You know, uh, you know, he, he got caught by, uh, by the, uh, the, the the kicker. So, that you know, that it ain't really happened that way. But, you know. <laughs> Guys, give him a hard time Sunday. Yeah, that? <laughs> well, that we do. We do a few jokes in there. You know? <laughs> uh, Coach Pry talked said he thought uh, you know, yesterday and today were two very complete practices for you guys. How you feel about the practice these last two days going into Clemson? Yeah, it, and it's definitely big because you know, uh, you know, instead of hanging our heads down, you know, they're actually trying to get better. You know, we we actually out there working harder, like like we like we didn't just like we just won, you know. So being able to to bounce back uh, is definitely uh, a need for us this week. So, and doing it against Clemson is definitely big. Ten weeks into the season, leading the entire nation in sacks. Is that sort of crazy to sit back and reflect on? Uh, I mean, not really crazy, but uh, it's definitely like great. You know, it, it's definitely like something that you know I've dreamed about doing it, but actually doing it is is, is definitely like is, is unreal. What would it mean to you at the end of the season if you know, you're up there leading the nation in sacks? Yeah, that means a lot to me because uh, you know that, that's what I was chasing. You know, not not just uh, you know somebody somebody else, but like you know I wanted to be the, that that number one guy in that spot. Coach Price always talks about you know, four rushing as one. If being up there, being first right now, how much do you feel like that's also a reflection of? The other three guys that are rushing. Yeah, right? most definitely. D line definitely should get all the praise that I get, you know. So, because it, it's like you said, it's four rushing as one. Uh, I wouldn't be getting those sacks if certain if certain guys wouldn't rush the B gap the way they did, or I, I wouldn't I wouldn't be able to the sack, get get that much time with with uh, someone scrambling or something because everybody has uh, you know wrestling integrity. So, Bruce Smith gonna be in town this weekend. I don't know. I hope so. <laughs> um, the Clemson running back Mafa. Seems like he's got a pretty big figure. He he remind you of anybody you faced? Uh, I, not really, but he, he's definitely a good player, a uh, good running back. You know, we we got to bring our hard head for him. Uh, we definitely prepare for him. The guy who's come on sort of late in your room, Asen Stevens. What have you seen from his development? Obviously, he's coming up from linebacker. Yeah, it's definitely great to see see Asen. You know, uh, 
get better, you know, because like you say, he was that linebacker, so he ended up making the transition in the end. And, you know, he didn't really know how to feel about it. So for him to actually be out there and make plays is definitely big for him. Can you help him out all with that? I know you're playing Jack back here at Florida. Yeah. Maybe a little bit different of a transition, but like, how do you sort of coach him through that? Uh, it's, it's really just uh, some most of the stuff pretty much be the same. So, you know, you can you can you can talk to them certain ways that they'll understand as far as like uh, D line standpoint. But it it, it, it kind of all means the same thing. Uh, Last one. Yeah. You're a Virginia guy to come back, and I mean, obviously this is your second season, but a game against Clemson at home in Lane Stadium, those kind of the opportunities you came back from. Oh yeah, most definitely. You know, especially you know against Clemson, they, that's that's a big name. So being able to to go out there and dominate is, is definitely big for me.